A good carrot and zucchini recipe must be accompanied with a rich cream cheese frosting with some pecan chops in every single bite. So give it a try. Okay guys, so I have the ingredients here to make my carrot and zucchini cakes. And I will be listing every ingredient and measurements in the description box below. So we're going to add our butter, and this is unsalted butter, along with some granulated sugar. Now you can use brown sugar if you want for a richer flavor. Nonetheless, your cake is going to be perfect. You can also use the whisk attachment. I've just decided to use the paddle attachment and just mix, mix, mix. Now I'm going to add three eggs into this mixture and I'm going to be adding one egg at a time and keep mixing. Now let me explain about this video guys. I am having a problem with my camera and I realize up close that once a motion comes too close to the camera, it starts to jerk. So you're going to find some jerking sensation in this video. Just a thumbs up. So after I add my eggs, I keep mixing. And then I mix this for like three to four minutes. But then you wanna stop, all right? And take your spatula and make sure that you scrape the sides of your pan, making sure that the butter and the sugar does not stick to the bottom. Then keep mixing again. Once it's done mixing, I'm going to use the coarser side of the grater and I'm going to grate one large zucchini now remember to wash your zucchini because we're grating it with the skin do the same for the carrot also and use the coarser side of the grater then we're going to add them into the pan with the butter sugar and the egg mixture then give it a nice little mix just so that everything will be combined And you don't want to over mix this cake all right it may look like it's over mixing but no guys i'm just timing it and just give it a little you know stop in between so once i'm done mixing it i'm going to add my flour now remember to sift your flour when you're baking this is going to help to create the air pockets in it it's going to be lighter right you don't want a heavy butter when you're mixing so sift your flour that when you mix it in, you're going to get a very good mixture. Now add your baking powder and baking soda into the mixture, along with strong cinnamon and some mixed essence. You can also use vanilla essence if you want. And then give it a mix. So while this is mixing, I did go ahead and I lined my baking pan with some parchment paper. And I want to warn you up in front because I know... Some people like to leave some nasty comments into my baking pan on my parchment paper. You're going to see a little bit of food stuff there. That's because I did drop the spoon there earlier. So it's clean. It's cake mixture in there. All right. And remember, guys, that your zucchini carrot cake is going to be a little heavier from a normal sponge cake. So you want to set your oven so it would take its time and bake. So I did set my oven to 275 degrees Fahrenheit, place it into the oven, and I baked it for 22 minutes. Now it also depends on your oven's temperature. So it's all done. At this time you want to take a toothpick. I did use my knife or you can use any sharp tool. Stick it up in there. And once it comes out clean, and dry you know that your cake is done and you want this cake to be extremely cold when you are dealing with the frosting so I did remove it look at the bottom it's cooked right through beautiful bottom it's not too brown once it's completely cool I'm going to take it out from the parchment paper and place it right back into my baking tray and then at this time into my bowl, I have one and a half cups of powdered sugar or icing sugar, as we would say, and one packet of Philadelphia cream cheese. Now you can sift your 
icing sugar. I didn't sift mine, so, you know, it was a little bit more work, but just to have things, you know, done easily and faster, be sure to sift it. I did also add some of the same vanilla essence and take my hand blender and I'm going to mix. As you can see, there's a lot of lumps. That's all right, I'm gonna bring it right back to perfection. Now, when you're mixing your granulated sugar and your cream cheese, or if you wanted to use butter, you can go ahead and use butter to make that butter frosting, and you can make it thicker than how I'm making mine. I am going to go ahead and I'm going to add one and a half tablespoons of condensed milk. This is going to make my consistency running, and that's all right because I like it this way. So if you like your sticker, as I said just now, then just omit the condensed milk. So I'm gonna keep mixing now. And then to add an additional flavor, I'm going to add a few drops of lemon juice right up into here. Make sure that the seeds do not fall in there. Mix it again, just for another few seconds. And once I'm done mixing, I'm going to get a nice, rich, and smooth textured frosting. Now at this time, I'm going to take this frosting and I'm going to pour it over my cake. Remember that the cake must be cool. And you can add as much frosting as you want. And if you notice at this time, because I'm up close on the camera, the video starts to jerk. So I'm gonna place it into the refrigerator for about one hour. And after one hour, I'm gonna add some chopped pecans. You can also add walnuts into it. That's okay. Any type of nuts would do. And then it's going to be time for serving. So I'm going to go and cut right into it. And I'm going to tell you, the most amazing carrot zucchini cake is moist and fluffy. And it also has the most delicious, subtle flavor, guys. It is topped with an easy homemade cream cheese frosting. I did add, as you can see, the pecans. And let me tell you, that is over the top delicious. So if you're looking for a scrumptious dessert, go try this one, guys, and leave me a beautiful comment. Let me know what you think about it. It is so tasty. So let's dig right into it, guys. Look at this. This cake is so heavenly. You must give it a try, all right? And I want you to take a good look at it and you're going to see the direct color of this zucchini and carrot cake. And you know, color is everything. Texture is everything. And thank you for coming, guys. For my new subscribers, I must say thank you. And for my returning subscribers, thank you also. So I will see you in my next video. Enjoy.